Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a grocery haul here for you. So I have, I went today, it's Thursday, and I went and picked a few things up at Costco and a local grocery store. And then tomorrow I'm going to go to my regular grocery shopping at Fred Meyer. And then this will be up on Saturday. So I'm off work this week. So I have some extra time to do grocery shopping. So I just split it up and I am going to show you these first and then you will see another one with the rest of my groceries for the week plus my meal plans will be at the end of this video as usual so just a few items i got at costco got some apples got some greek yogurt this is my favorite greek yogurt this is just plain on fat greek yogurt i pick one of these up every time i go to costco um i didn't need these i actually have about a half of a bag but they were on sale for only 5.99 and these are the chicken and cilantro mini wontons. I love these. You can have like 10 of them for two points and it's really low points. And I like to pair this with my favorite salad, which is the Asian cashew chopped salad. Um, and I do use like the wonton strips and almonds. I just measure them out and just use like a tablespoon or two and just um, track them. And I like to combine these two. And then I don't use the dressing though. I use my um, Newman's own sesame ginger dressing which is really low in points so that's probably what i'm gonna have for lunch today because it sounds good but at this i do have a half of a bag of these but 5.99 is a great deal and they're only on sale till april 8th and they're usually like nine something and then i picked up some mandarin oranges and three mangoes so then at the local grocery store oh and i got bananas there at costco too so at the local grocery store i was just going there to pick up these which are the lilies baking chips these are there's no sugar added and you can have i don't know how many for one smart point but you can have quite a few and these are you've probably seen these all over instagram they are very expensive this was six dollars but you don't use very many so um anyway that's those that's what i went there for and then i saw a few other things i didn't want to pick up some vanilla protein powder because i only have chocolate right now so i've never tried this i don't know if it's vega or vega i've never tried this but it's just a 12 serving package because I don't drink smoothies a lot, but when I do, I want to be able to have vanilla as well. Then I hit the jackpot with sugar-free puddings. I told you guys I've only been able to find just the basic flavors of vanilla and chocolate and cheesecake. Sometimes I can find pistachio, but at this store, which I never really shop at, it had all of these. So I got lemon, butterscotch, chocolate fudge, and banana cream. And these are all the sugar-free varieties. So I just picked them all up. I have no idea when I'm going to use them, but they are good forever. So, And something I've been wanting to try are these hemp hearts. They have a lot of omegas, um, omegas 3 and 6. They are pretty high in fat. Like This, this package, though, is one serving, which I'll probably only just use a little bit. I don't I have no idea how many points they are. Um, I will have to look and I will put them here on the screen um, to let you know because I imagine I'll probably only use like a teaspoon or so at a time but anyway just wanted to try those and I saw this small package was only two dollars the big packages them were like 15 so I thought I'm just going to get the small package to try them out and then they had my favorite eggs on sale eggs have been very expensive lately so I have not been buying these kind but since I was there they had them for like a dollar 58 or something so I thought that's a great deal. So I picked these up. These are my favorite one, the Eglin's Best Vegetarian Fed Hen Eggs. And they are, they have the added vitamins and omegas in them. So anyway, pick those up. So next will be my Fred Meyer haul. Okay guys, so I just got back from Fred Meyer. So here is the rest of the grocery haul for this coming week. Uh, I will let you know as I go along if the item is new to me or um, if it's something I have all the time. Also let you know what I am doing with the items, um, what kind of meals I'm putting them in. And at the end of the video, make sure you watch for my breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal plans for this coming week. So let's get started. So here I have, um, this is my favorite lunch meat brand, the Simple Truth. Um, it's uncured. So this uncured black forest ham, I haven't actually tried the black forest ham, but I'm going to be making, um, it's called copycat apple, apple, Applebee's grill house, something. Now I cannot remember what it's called, but anyways, they're sandwiches that have, um, they have ham, they have turkey, they have bacon and they have barbecue sauce clubhouse grill. That's what it's called. I've made them a lot, but I have not had them for a long time. So I'm going to be making mine, though, with turkey bacon instead of regular bacon. Um, anywho, so I have some of this uncured black forest ham. This is 1.41 ounce. 
And then with my usual peppered turkey, so I'll be having this on there as well. And this is also a one point for one ounce. And then I have the turkey bacon that I really love. This is uncured hardwood smoked turkey bacon, one point a piece for this, and I picked it up for a great deal. And then ground chicken, I'll be using this for um, buffalo chicken sloppy joes this week. I think I did a video on that. I will look and see if I did. I will link it down below. If not, I will link the recipe um, link to the original recipe down below. So I'll be using this for that. And then I got a great deal on chicken breasts. I don't need this many. I actually, I only need chicken breasts for, um, I'm gonna be making chicken salad for lunch this week. So I only need probably one big breast for that. And then I'm gonna be doing, I know I did a video on this. It's a one pot meal. It's chicken, baby potatoes, and green beans. So whatever I don't use, I have a food saver that I will um, just food saver this on a Sunday when I do meal prep. So I will show you how I do that too, how I split up my meat. So I'll put that in my meal prep video this week. So I have chicken. And then over here, I picked up my favorite salsa. I love the salsa because it does not have any added sugars. The only sugars are from just the um, tomatoes. So this is a Simple Truth Organic Medium Salsa. So the zero smart points. Now I've gotten Dave's Killer Bread the thin sliced before, but I've never, I don't remember if I've ever tried the power seed. The last one I got was the 21 grains and it is two points a piece and then four points for two. So I scanned this one. It has a little bit less sugar in there and more fiber. So this one is actually one is two points for one slice, but it's three points for two slices. So I always have two slices, but I really like the Dave's bread compared to the Sara Lee thin slice because the Sara Lee thin slice doesn't feel like it's very hearty. This stuff is really hearty. So I'm going to use this for my Clubhouse Grill Plus for avocado toast and that kind of thing throughout the week. And these are the Kroger um, multi grain sandwich slims. I'll be using these for my Buffalo Chicken Sloppy Joes. Um, the multi grain sandwich slims from Fred Meyer are only two smart points versus most of these sandwich spins are three smart points. So I don't know if, what is it, the regular ones, or a weed or something. I don't know if they have a multi-grain version that's only two smart points, but anyway, save a point with those. I know I picked up eggs at um, the other grocery store, but these were on sale and I like to pick the, the cage-free grain fed whenever I can. So these are on sale for like $2, so I, I couldn't beat that and they're just brown eggs so I will use them for sure. So I have eggs. Picked up usual unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I use this for smoothies for the most part but my son uses it exclusively for his cereal. I only had to get one canned item and that was just to pick up a can of garbanzo beans. I um, don't really have a plan for that for this this week but I like to keep one in my pantry at all times. Um, I talked about English muffins in my upcoming empties video. It'll be up here in a few days. Um, and it was talking about the Franz English muffins, but I forgot that I also been picking up the Fred Meyer version. So one thing I talk about in there is that English muffins, for a while I was only getting the Thomas Light because they are three smart points. They were the lowest. I can't get the Healthy Life ones that a lot of people get for two smart points. I do not like the Thomas Light ones. They are chewy, cannot stand them. So I just started, I thought I'll just, you know, do a four point English muffin if I have to. So I started scanning the Franz ones and almost every Franz one, so I know the sourdough, the extra crispy, the multi-grain, are all three smart points. There's some other ones that are four smart points. So I started scanning the Fred Meyer ones and these ones are also three smart points. So there are several of the Fred Meyer ones and these were on sale this week. So anyway, three smart points for an English muffin that does not taste chewy. That's the only thing I don't like about the Thomas ones. I picked up the Alfresco chicken sausage. These are three smart points a link, and there, if you can see, they're really big links. I really like these. I can't, since I don't live real close to Trader Joe's, these are the ones that I find comparable to the Trader Joe's um, point-wise and flavor. And I like to have these sometimes for breakfast or dinner. And I not, don't have a plan for these pinto beans, but I like to keep an extra one of these in my pantry, and I was out. I picked up the Kroger brand fat-free singles. These are one point a piece or one, they're still one point for two. So you can have up to two slices for one point. And I'll be using that on the Clubhouse Grill as well. Now this is a new product to me. These are the Siggy's yogurts. Um, here, let me show you one doesn't have discount stickers. The uh, reason why I picked them up is because they were on sale for one thing, but then they were even more on sale for these ones that are gonna expire by April 6th. So I thought, well, that's fine. 
April 6th, yeah. Um, anyway, I've been wanting to pick these up. They are three smart points, so the same amount of smart points as the Oikos yo yogurts that I eat most of the time. But this is, uh, is Icelandic style. Never tried that, but I've heard really great things about Siggy brand because they don't have, they're from grass fed cows. They don't have any artificial sweeteners, which the Oikos doesn't either, but I've never had any yogurt from grass fed cows. So I'm actually kind of excited to try these. So I got vanilla, which this was a regular price, which actually they were on sale like four for five. And then I picked up a blueberry, it was only 59 cents. And I picked up a raspberry. So they are three smart points. So I figured that is such a great deal. And if I like them, then I'll start picking these up. And I picked up some fat-free sour cream. Oh, I guess get these. So I hate spending the money for almond butter. I should have picked some up when I was at Costco yesterday, but I completely forgot. Um, but also, I am really it's really hard for me to portion out almond butter. So I just picked up two of these single ones because I know there's one thing I want to have it with this week until I can get to Costco and I'll pick up a bigger one. Um, but the cheapest one at Fred Meyer was like 10 something and I know I can get it for like $6.99 or $7.99 at Costco. So I'm just going to hold out. But I got two of these little packets. Um, fat free sour cream, I think I already said that. My favorite creamer, you guys, if you watch me all the time, you know, is the Mountain Dairy Fat Free Half and Half. I just prefer just plain old cream. And this is really creamy. You can have three smart, you can have one point for three tablespoons, or you might even be able to put four tablespoons for a point, but I only need two because this stuff is so creamy. So I picked up two of those. I had to stock up on my dressings. I need this for, I'd like to put this on the Buffalo Chicken Sloppy Joes, plus I'm having a buffalo chicken salad today, not chicken, a buffalo, um, what do you call it? Chickpea salad, which I'll be filming for you guys. Um, so I want, wanted this for that. So you can have um, two tablespoons for one smart point with this blue cheese and it's really good. And then I like to keep the classic ranch on hand. So this is two points for two tablespoons. I picked up some turkey pepperoni I'm going to be making for lunches next week, for two of my days anyway. I'm going to be doing like an Italian pasta salad, so I need turkey pepperoni for that. Um, you can have like, it's like 15 slices for two smart points, but you can have like 10 or 11 slices for one. Uh, the pepperoncinis are also for that Italian salad. The buffalo wing sauce is going to be for the sloppy joes. I don't really have a plan for this, but I don't have any chicken broth in my pantry at all, so I wanted to pick up some of that. I missed the vegetable recipe mix. This is that Noor stuff that I learned about from my friend Jessica over at Weight Watching Mama. She uses this all the time as a dip, so you just put this in your Greek yogurt. Okay, you have a quarter cup of the yogurt after you, I mean after the dip after you all make it up for zero smart points. I only need a few frozen things, so I just wanted to back up of corn in my freezer. I don't really have a plan for any of this, but I didn't have any in my freezer. So I got some broccoli. And then for smoothies, I wanted some berry medley. And then I love to have cherries in my smoothies. So I picked up some of those. These are all zero smart points. I am obsessed with mangoes right now. I have been having one every day. So I picked up four because they were four for five for the organic brand at Fred Meyer's. So great deal. So I picked that up. This was something new to me. I have picked up the Kodiak cakes before, but just the plain buttermilk. This is crunchy peanut butter. It is one more smart point than the buttermilk. The buttermilk is five points for half a cup. This is six points, totally worth it, I think. I'm gonna be making one of those, um, what is it, Mud Hustler um, waffles, so for breakfast at least one day next week. So anyway, so I picked up some of that. I will let you know what I think about it. I picked up two crackers to go with my chicken salad. I'll be doing chicken salad on toast one day for lunch, and then I think I'll just do one on a bed of lettuce and just use crackers with it. So I love these chickpea crackers. They are four points for 22 of them. And then the veggie blend ones, I believe, are three or four points for 26 of them. So those are my probably my two favorite besides the corn ones, which I like with salsa. Okay, so an item that is completely new to me. I'm actually a little bit scared to try it. Let me know down in the description box if, uh, or down in the comments, what if you've tried this before. So this is kimchi. It's a fermented product, which I've been wanting to really try some fermented foods. Um, I don't know. Like you can have one ounce of this for zero smart points. It's only 15 calories. The ingredients, let me tell you, it has cabbage, chili pepper, carrot, garlic, green onion, cane sugar. Um, sea salt, 
ginger anchovy extract oh gosh I didn't know it had like fishy stuff so I don't know we'll see we'll see what I think about it but it's just fermented Napa cabbage so yeah we'll see it kind of makes me nervous when it says open slowly over the sink so let me know down below what you think about this I know it's supposed to be super good for you so we'll try it and see it was kind of expensive but I mean it was like $4.99 for this thing um, two bell peppers a pineapple romaine lettuce I like to put some of this um, coleslaw stuff on top of my sloppy joes avocados three kiwis another thing I've been obsessed with I actually been making like a bowl with uh, mango and kiwis and pineapple and having that for a snack zucchini radishes lemons for my lemon water ginger for my lemon ginger water carrots green onions picked up some sprouts which I love on anything the green beans are gonna be for that one pot green bean chicken potato thing and then some baby spinach so there you go sorry this haul was a little bit longer than normal but I just wanted to talk to you about a few things in there stay tuned at the end of the video for the meal plans and I will see you all in the next video oh I'll see you on Sunday for meal prep so stay tuned for that bye guys